Hi guys, today I'm super excited to introduce you to a brand new silicone mask. Uh, this mask is part of a new lineup of silicone half masks we've been working on. So for this lineup, we completely redesigned our sculpting armature and core uh, using 3D uh, printing, scanning, and modeling technology to further improve the fitment, uh, quality, realism, and symmetry of our silicone mask. So like our previous silicone mask, this uh, includes a, an adjustable nose bridge and hyper-realistic paintwork and sculpting detail. So being a half mask, we're able to reduce the production cost of, uh, of this mask, uh, making it accessible to a new bracket of customers. Uh, also, uh, with, the, with this design, it's much easier to put on the masks, which is uh, even more suitable for beginners or first-time users. This new core, we also made it slightly larger uh, to further accommodate uh, people with slightly larger heads and a greater range of customers. So if you have a slightly smaller head, one tip that you can do to uh, uh, improve the fitment and uh, movement out of your mask is wear a small beanie um, or padding inside the mask or the neck to make the fitment a bit tighter. So if you're going to need a beanie to make the, uh, the fitment a bit tighter, here's a few tips. So for me, I put, try to put the mass of the beanie more towards the back and not the front or the top. So what that does is does, it doesn't distort the features of the masks and it tends to push the mask a bit more towards my fa the, my, the front of my face, which uh, for, gives me a bit more movement and, um, and uh, expression uh, with the mask. So to put it on, very simple, like all our masks, just put your hands about the where the um, where the ears are, and keep your fingers together, and then spread it open.